Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to get my camera in focus. Um, so as you may know, my name is Olivia and we are going to be doing another painting. I know yesterday I posted about, what, three videos? Um, and I know in two of the, uh, at least in the one, I know that I was talking really, really low and I hope that today I'm a little bit louder. Um, somebody suggested that I get a, uh, a Bluetooth microphone headset. I'm gonna have to look into getting one of those so that everybody can hear me more clearly. But until then, we're just gonna have to kind of like make do with what I have, which is literally myself like right in front of my phone. <laughs> so, um, and of course in my other video, I completely took out the sound because I could not hear myself at all even when I rewatched it. So, and then my last video didn't have me talking at all. It was just um, basically a collage, a collection of different artworks that I've done off camera where I haven't videoed them. Um, which I have a few pieces that I do want to show you guys uh, today. There, there's some, uh, actually they were all in my video, but I really, really wanted to show you guys them in person because I absolutely love them. So I'm going to do my best um, I'll get to the paints in a moment, but for right now I want to show you the different paintings and hopefully I can get them into the camera. I'm um, trying to show you all of it without knocking anything over or getting anything on this. But this is one of the paintings that I have recently done. Again, this one was featured in my, uh, in my collage collection video here. I'll just do that and then I'll just tip the camera back down whenever I'm done. So there's that one. Again, really, maybe if I do it this way you can see everything. I've got my signature right there in that corner so that's why I'm trying to show you um, like it would be if you hung it, but I'll have to do sideways views of the bigger ones because that's how my camera can get all of it. Um, one of my friends said this reminded them of acid, so that's what I'm going to be calling this one. I'm going to be calling this one acid. Um, this should be in my Etsy shop. Hmm. I'm not sure how quickly I'll list this because I actually really, really like this one. Um, I'm not, I have somebody in mind for it as well, so I'm not entirely sure I'll be selling it. I might have somebody that I'm going to gift it to. So, but that's that one. Then we have this lovely piece, which my signature is down there in the corner. So, got this one. This one was... This one was actually, what did I do this one after? I think I was inspired by another pouring artist. She had done similar colors. Um, I think my colors are actually a little bit darker than what she had, um, except for um, this rose gold color. She used like a bronze, I think. I think is what it was she used a bronze so I used a rose gold instead of a bronze because I didn't have a bronze we both used black I used like a dark turquoise green which came out more green um, well teal green I should say not turquoise green but teal green which came out more green and then she used a darker actually a darker blue called deep space which I don't have a blue that that, that that's that color or that dark. I could not make my blues that dark without making it really muddied. Um, so I've actually got this other blue color in there, which is a little lighter than what she used, I believe. And I have not entitled this one. Um, again, this is another one that I do have somebody in mind for, so I'm not sure when this one will be listed or if it'll be listed at all. 
but I just wanted to show you guys, you know, the dried, completed product. Um, I did accidentally, um, you probably wouldn't even notice this if I didn't point it out, but I kind of got a little bit of other paints on here because I was painting several different paintings at once, and I kind of got it on here, so I had to actually go back and drip some of these paints on top of it and help it blend in. And you know what? I actually kind of like how it dried. You really, honestly, if it wasn't for me pointing it out, you probably wouldn't have even known that that was even a mistake, a mistake cover up. So, again, sorry if I sniffle or anything like that. I'm still not exactly feeling 100%. Um, and I also don't know if I'm, if I sound like my normal self or not just yet. I feel like I do. I, I definitely feel like I sound more like myself compared to yesterday when I was recording. So, and definitely, hopefully I'm louder. <laughs> if not, I'm definitely going to have to invest in that microphone headset, uh, pretty soon. <laughs> Anyways, here is, now this one is one of the ones that I video recorded yesterday. Um, again, my signature's right there. This is the one that I called Filth and the Beauty, which if anybody is a Gazette fan, you know that that's one of their song titles. <laughs> um, and it just, you know, it, it seemed really fitting considering that, you know, the vocalist of that band, Ruki, was my inspiration. Well, his nail art was my inspiration behind this painting and it doesn't exactly look 100 percent you know it does it definitely does not 100 percent look like his nail art at all but i got the blue and the like antique copper bronzy color and the rose gold and the black and the white even though the black and the white are kind of like there's very little of it but i actually really really love this piece um another name that i probably would have named this would have been invisible wall but at the same time, I was like, is that really fitting? Because it clearly, if this is the wall, like this is the invisible wall, but you can clearly see it, so invisible wall just didn't work. So again, Filth and the Beauty was just another great name for this painting. All right, I've got two more that are actually based off of uh, nail art. Um, nail arts that Ruki had done. He had this nail art where it was basically black, white, and it was like two different shades of gold. It was a lighter gold and a darker gold. And I mean, what goes better together than white, black, and gold? I mean, that was my high school, my high school um, sports, you know, that was our colors. You know, we were um, the Manio Redskins, because I'm from the Outer Banks of North Carolina, so we were the Outer Banks of Redskins, and our colors were black and gold, and white, um, mainly black and gold, but white was also one of our colors, so this just really <laughs> brought back a lot of memories of like my high school, as well as inspiration from uh, Ruki's nail art, which if I can find a picture, I will definitely post it on this video, so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, again, I did not get the design 100% because obviously when I pour, you never know how the paint's going to come out. Like, you just never know. There, it's so unpredictable. I cannot, I can, all I can do is pop the air bubbles, um, hoping to create more cells. All I can do is, uh, move the paint around on the canvas, maybe try to manipulate it a little bit with like a spoon or... Um, a dowel or whatever I have, but I really don't have control of how the paint comes out. Like, I really just don't, so um, not 100% complete tr control. Let's put it that way. Like I have some, I have maybe like a 50% control level of how my paint's done, like how much of what, and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But anyways, this is one of the ones based off of that nail art. Again, you see a lot of the, like the brighter gold and then you've got like the darker gold that's mixed with a little bit of black. And then you've got the darker gold and the light gold down here. And this is mostly the darker gold mixed with some black. And then I don't know if you can even make it out on camera, but there's like little 
lacing of the darker gold here around this white and this in, in this black where it's you know creating this gray it's like really really it's like very very subtle um i don't know i i really really love this and it looks like i did half of a tree ring pour and half not but this was literally a tree ring pour all the way around um, it just kind of turned out this way, and I really, really just, I'm in love with this one. Um, this one will probably get listed on my Etsy shop pretty soon. Um, pretty sure that it will. <laughs> um, I don't have anybody in mind for this. Um, though obviously any of the Ruki-inspired um, artwork I would love to give to him um, in general but um, I can't just give him painting after painting after painting so um, plus you know he's Japanese and lives in Japan it's gonna be kind of hard to give him something though they are coming to Dallas Texas um, on May 4th and I will be going to see them so I'm really really excited about that <laughs> so excited about that and then the last one again was based off of that black white and gold um, nail art that Ruki did and this one probably is my favorite between the two like I really liked the other one but I love this one even more isn't that absolutely gorgeous like seriously guys <laughs> I am in love with this so in love with this and it shimmers I don't know if it's making that out on camera but it's got that metallic shimmer to it um, just really really beautiful I love how this one came out so so much all right and with that said let's dive into today's painting as you can see I have got six different colors here ranging from red all the way to yellow I've got a red like a tomato red um, like a pumpkin orange a apricot color gold and I've got a bright almost neon yellow color today I decided um, since you know the last two videos that I did when I recorded um, I kind of did based off of you know and then I an idea that my friend was you know gave to me and inspired me to do um, and another one was based off of a nail art so I decided to continue with our card um, energy energy readings well not readings but energy paintings <laughs> um, in today's card because I was really really feeling creative I don't know if anybody caught Tattoo Tarot's live reading today. If not, go back and rewatch. She had absolutely beautiful messages for everybody today. And yes, even a negative, well not, it's not really negative, but even a not so great reading is still a beautiful reading. Like, you cannot have the yin without the yang, or the yang without the yin. End of story. So, you take it as you want, but they're still beautiful all in their own right. But anyways, during during her reading, I just, all of a sudden, I got the itch to paint, to record, and I was like, you know what, this goes hand in hand with the card that I had originally picked out for the next video that I would upload, and I didn't go with it, um, so I think that was just a universal sign that it was meant for today. Um, today we are going with creativity, which is the fire agate. Isn't that absolutely a beautiful card? I am just in love with this card. This is one of my favorite cards out of the whole deck. And I think it's just because it's associated with creativity, which is exactly how I'm feeling right now. I'm feeling very creative, very inspired to create. And hopefully after people watch this video, they'll feel inspired and creative themselves to go and do their own masterpiece, whether it's a painting, whether it's drawing, whether it's creating jewelry, you know, uh, creating music, dance, acting, 
whatever it is that you find create, you know, creative for you, that you find to just be inspirational for you to do, do it. Go do it. Don't hold back. Don't let anybody else hold you back either, especially not yourself. Just go do it. You'll be happy with yourself. You'll be happy that you did it. Even if you sit back and go, oh, this is so embarrassing. I can't believe I'm doing this. Like I get when I'm singing. <laughs> I love to sing. I really can't judge myself on how I sing, but I have been told that I'm a pretty good singer. No, I did not plan to sing for you guys. So <laughs> don't ask because <laughs> I'm not going to because again, it's one of those things that I do not really like. I don't like to sing in front of people unless I'm really, really comfortable around you. So like if you're my brother or my dad, I'll sing around you. <laughs> or like my niece, Jasmine, I'll sing in front of her, but I don't sing in front of anybody else. <laughs> it's very rare if anybody catches me singing and I'm not aware of it. So yeah, anyways, let's, I have got my crystal card, uh, reading cards book. So I'm going to read to you what it says for creativity and then I will get into the painting part of this video. So if anybody does not want to hear me talk anymore, skip forward. Okay. Sorry. I'm just, I'm going to be very talkative this video. It is, it is what it is. So just skip on forward. Okay. All right. The fire agate, which is creativity. Um, Crystal colors are vibrant, rich reds, oranges, blacks, creams, browns, greens, blues, golds, and yellows. And it's related to your sacral chakra. Um, which, if anyone doesn't know, I believe it's associated with your stomach area. If I'm not mistaken. I'm having like, I'm trying to visualize the seven chakras in my head. And yeah, I think it's associated with your stomach, like your stomach area. Um, anyways, don't quote me on that because I might be wrong or I might be spun on, I'm not sure. Um, okay. So this potent and powerful medicine works deeply with the fire element and greatly assists in burning away any fears or blockages around your passion. The energy of this powerful crystal allows you for deep access to the universal life force energy. When connected to this potent energy, you feel aligned to the dynamic energy of the cosmos and life itself. Um, Fire ag Agate reminds you this is a powerful and exciting time of creativity. The creative fires within you have been ignited, bringing exciting new opportunities for creativity, expression, and passion in your life. If you have been feeling a little stale and flat, you are being encouraged to connect deeply with your creative side. This is a potent time to express yourself through your creative gifts and talents. As you embark on this journey, you will be filled with inspiration, joy, and freedom of self. You are being invited to tune into what you love to do and what makes your heart sing. Writing, dancing, painting, singing, poetry, anything that allows you to express yourself and sparks your creative juices. Work deeply with the fire agate as you dance in the creative flow of the universe and dissolve any fears or blockages around connecting to your connecting to your creativity. Fire agate brings with it the driving force to manifest your creative inspirations into the world successfully. It is time to share your love with the world through your unique creative gifts. This card also indicates it is a perfect time to embark on a new relationship, career, or any new endeavor. Your projects will blossom to their full potential at this time as you have the blessings of the creative fires burning within you. Isn't that a beautiful message? Um, sorry guys, if I sound like I'm short of breath, it's really honestly because I'm just, again, I haven't been feeling that great. So well, I don't think I'm that stuffy, but like I feel the congestion in my chest, but I don't have a cough. And yeah, anyway, um, other crystal meanings could be assisting in a dissolving blocks around artistic gifts and talents, um, enhancing self-confidence. It encourages you to get in touch with your dynamic nature, assists you to move forward with passion and positivity, deepens your passion and spark for life, fueling your internal flame and invoking inspiration, and it also stimulates and balances sexual energy. Ooh la la. 
All right, so we are going to uh, get into this painting. Now, if anyone noticed, again, I'm gonna try to get as close as possible. This agate featured in this card looks like it has rings. So I'm going to do a tree ring pour. And I'm gonna do it in probably two different cups, I think. pretty big canvas so I know that I need at least two hopefully there's enough paint um, within the two cups to cover it if not I can always do a third um, I might even do a third just to you know like one two three and I'm just gonna do them randomly like random colors layered random colors layered because I don't know, just random colors layered, why not? <laughs> There's no particular science to this. You kind of create how you want to create, and that's what I'm doing. I'm going to create how I would like to create. So, I think to start off, um, I don't know, I might just do two. Yeah, I think I might just do two, just because... I do only have so much paint. And I'm honestly hoping that this is enough to cover the canvas. If not, there's gonna be negative white space, which I really don't wanna have, but at the same time, if we have to have it, then we will have it. I think what we're gonna do is perhaps start from red and go up to the bright brightest, and then start, and then this one, we're gonna start from yellow and go up to red, I think is how we will do this. Okay, so that's half of my red. And again, I'm hoping that it layers like it's supposed to. Okay, that's half of that one. Half of that one. for my gold. And then half of my yellow. So there's that one. Oops, that's okay. We're not worried about getting paint on anything. Now, I'm gonna pour the rest of the yellow into this other cup. And we're gonna do the reverse. We're going to start off with yellow, and then we're going to go to gold. Again, if you get any drips on your canvas, it's not a big deal. Paint's going to cover it. I say that probably in every video because I'm notorious for dropping paint on my canvas. And the rest of the gold, which did a nice layered thing for us in the cup. Um, the rest of the apricot. Hmm. Hopefully I've got room for all of these. I might have to, I might have some left over here just because I don't when I run out of room for my other colors. So I think I might have a little extra on the orange, on the pumpkin orange and on the ripe tomato here. If anything, I'll combine them two together in a cup and fill, that'll be like a filler. Let's 
top that off with the red. Okay. Yes, one was fuller than the other, but that's okay. So yeah, I am going to, I'm going to do this just so that I have a filler, a filler cup if I need extra on the canvas. Now, let me find a pair of gloves. I forgot to put them close by, so hold me for a moment. I also forgot napkins to wipe my hands, to wipe my gloves. <sighs> Being prepared is key, but I'm glad I wanted this one to be a little bit of a lengthy video and for everybody to hear me talk. So. So who here associates very strongly with the fire agate? I know I do, and that's just because I'm feeling the creative energy. I'm feeling it so much today. I've, I've actually been feeling it a lot. Um, not just today, but just ever since I've been back home. Like I think the first week after I got back home from my trip to Australia, I really didn't, really didn't want to do anything. It's really been this past week. Yeah, it's really been this past week that I have just been like, I've got to paint, I've got to paint. Okay, now, hopefully I've got my little tarp here all splayed out correctly. Um, I <laughs> should have seen the mess I had last night, that's all I'm going to say. Now, hopefully I can do this without Okay, mm. well this might Can't exactly pinch it because it was kind of full, but we're gonna we're gonna roll with it. Oh, I'm already seeing absolutely beautiful colors coming out. And there's that gold. probably is enough paint to maybe coat, coat the whole canvas, but what I'm going to do is I am going to try to fill in some of the other areas with the other cup that I have full. Come out like I wanted it to, so I'm holding this cup just because it cracked. So I'm like, 
color these corners with this and kind of just use the rest to kind of fill in remember this is probably going to get covered up so all right touch up to my corners here first. Okay. Oh, yes, we could do ink gun. See if we can get some cells to pop out. All right. Oh, excuse me, guys. All right. Let's I am so impressed with this, like seriously. Okay, let me take off my gloves because I don't need them anymore right at this moment. Wow. I'm actually super, super happy with that. And look, there's even more. There's more cells popping up already. Look at that. Now I'm going to put a heat gun to it one more time. Alright. Also, if anybody hears anything else in the background, it is probably just my TV. I am kind of listening to some, um, it's a station on Pandora called Music for Brainwave. I absolutely love it. I usually listen to it whenever I go to sleep. Um, or I have in the past. I really haven't lately, but I have in the past. And it's really helping, you know, the creative energy. Um, but yeah, I actually think that might be it for this video. Uh, again, Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really, really hope you enjoyed watching me paint. I enjoy painting. I love doing these videos. Um, I have all my links down below. My link to my Etsy store, my email. Follow me on my Twitter and my Instagram. Um, if you want a custom, please email me. I am open for customs. I've been open for customs. I just really haven't said that I am in my videos, but I am open for customs. Um, 
please just email me. We can talk about details, like colors, um, you know, what kind of pour do you want to do. I, I can do dirty, dirty cups, uh, tree ring pours, what they call a kiss pour, um, and well, we can we can just discuss details, okay? Um, check out my Etsy store. My Etsy store has um, will have this painting along with others listed. Um, this one won't be listed right away because I have to wait for it to dry. Um, but you know, I will have I have all my paintings, excluding some that I've either sold or that I plan to give to people, all listed in my Etsy shop. Please go give it a check out if. Um, and if you find one that resonates with you and really calls to your name, by all means, you know. I sell uh, domestic and internationally, so everybody is covered. Alright guys, again, thank you for watching. Um, leave a like on this, on this video, you know, hit that thumbs up button. Um, leave your comments down below for me. Give me some positive criticism. Give me some constructive criti criticism. Um, Tell me what I could do differently. Tell me what I, what I, what you love about what I do with the videos. Tell me how much you liked this painting or that you didn't like this painting. You know, tell me anything. You know, I'm gonna remain as, you know, neutral <laughs> and indifferent as possible. You know, um, to any negative comments. Let me let me point that out. It'll be to negative comments. I will be neutral. You cannot rain on my parade, okay? <laughs> and obviously to all the good comments out there, I obviously love love you guys, cherish you guys. You guys are what, you know, make me want to do this. You know, I want to bring a smile to somebody's face. I want to put joy in someone's life through my art or just through talking with me or just through listening to me. All right, guys. So I think with that, that's it, you know. Thank you. Again, leave a like, leave a comment subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button so you know when I post a new video. Alright guys, have an awesome day and I'll see you next video. Bye.